Hey guys, it's John the Vintage Geek. Nothing can stop the Bionic Man. We're taking a look at my one of the displays inside the Vintage Geek's toy room. My toy room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that Bionic Man in the box there. I think that is so cool. Today we're looking at another very powerful set of figures. Masters of the WWE Universe. WWE Turnia. You get John Cena and Triple H with this set. Now, we also have a bunch of loose figures down here. We're going to go through each one of these. And here's the thing, guys. So, I was unable to find these in duplicates. So, right now, this is all I got. I'm not going to open these. I found one duplicate of Triple H as the Skull King. So, we will open him. So there will be one opening on this, but otherwise we are just showing the packaging and showing the line. The Grey Skull Mania Arena, Battle Arena here. We got Triple Claws, Triple H, and we got John Cena, the most unseeable man in the universe. Triple Claws, Triple H, the evil skull, king of kings. These are some pretty cool action figures. All this is done by Mattel. They are actual Mattel, He-Man style, He-Man size action figures. And we will compare them to a He-Man figure. I've got a couple of them out here. We'll, we'll stand them next to and showcase, you know. Great artwork on this thing. I, I'm blown away. I mean, that's pretty much what attracted me to it. It's the, it's the classic artwork from Masters of the Universe. And, uh, I mean, he's standing on a block from the, the Castle Grayskull and everything. It's like, I mean, I just, that's what attracted me to these. I didn't go for the wrestling Ghostbusters crossover. I thought that was pretty cool, but I didn't actually purchase them. Masters of the WWE Universe. Gray Skull Mania Battleground for the Superstars of WWE Eternity. Eternia, step through the energy ropes and into the ring of Grey Skull, where the fate of WW Eternia is decided. It's a no holds barred battle, and once the dust settles, the true champion will have the power. Arm with battle axe and shield to adjust attitudes. That's pretty cool. Attach terror claws for petrifying pedigree. And then you can twist into powerful battle positions. Colors and decorations may vary. Figures may not stand or pose alone as shown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all by Mattel, of course. Mattel. I think that says ages 8 plus for the battle arena. Now you can buy this battle arena, arena separately. If I remember correctly, I think it costs around $20 for the Battle Arena on its own. Maybe it was even $30. But this is what hit me, okay? This this Battle Arena pack that I have with the two figures was in the clearance aisle for $24.99. And I only found the one. So that's why it's not getting opened. It seems like it's super rare for some reason. But yet it's already on clearance. It's just weird. So weird. We got the Ultimate Warrior here. That's who we've been looking at. Heroic Champion of WW Eternia. Highly articulated for power posing. His sculpt is amazing. He looks really, really good. That's who we've been taking a look at here. Comes with a spear and a battle harness. Sent in a capsule from a place far from here for one reason. To attack and keep coming. But not to ask, but just to give. Not to want, but just to send. Send the power of the warrior. Awesome. He is something else, isn't he? The ultimate warrior. Remove warrior's ultimate harness. You can take that off if you want to. Twist into powerful battle positions. And you can also collect. Each sold separately. Subject to availability. Colors and decorations may vary. Figures cannot stand or pose alone. 
Yeah, they can. They can stand to pose alone. I'll show you. Triple H, Evil Skull, King of Kings, Ultimate Warrior. We've seen Sting, Mysterious, Vigilante of Vengeance, and Finn Balor, Heroic Demon King. So now we're pulling out Triple H here, the Evil Skull, King of Kings. And we're just going to do a quick look at him because I do have a duplicate of this guy. So we're going to open this one up. Not this particular package because this is unpunched and perfect. I did find two or three unpunched ones, which was nice. Then we got Sting, Mysterious Vigilante of Vengeance. He's kind of like a clawful type character. He's got some claw attachments in the back. It just makes me remind it reminds me of Clawful from the original He-Man line. This is really cool. Sting is awesome. The Dark Warrior with a voice of, of silence and a mission of justice strikes fear into the black heart of the evil force that created him. But whose side is he on? So he may start as a good guy and then turn bad. Who knows? Press Scorpion Claw for chomping action and twist into battle positions. We got all the, the other four characters on the back here as well. Pretty freaking awesome. Pretty awesome. And now we've got Finn Balor, also unpunched. Heroic Demon King. Look at his face, man. Wow. The accessories this guy has is just freaking awesome. <laughs> Everything about this is freaking awesome, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm a goof. I know, sorry. <laughs> Only a pure-hearted man with incredible willpower like Finn Balor could channel the power of the Demon King and wield its deadly terror tendrils for the side of good. So he is a good guy, even though he looks like total evil. <laughs> the most evil characters are the good guys. That's great. <laughs> Remove Finn's demon armor and you can twist into powerful battle positions. And he also shows the four guys you can collect on the back. So now let's get into, let's get into Triple H, Evil Skull, King of Kings. Wielding the sledgehammer of supremacy, the nefarious Skull King seeks to conquer the ring of Grey Skull and rule over each day, or rule over each and every superstar of WWE Eternia. I don't know why I said day. <laughs> All right, I failed as a voice actor. I can't do any, any commercial voiceovers. I'm terrible. <laughs> you can remove his helmet and reveal Triple H, and he also can twist into powerful battle positions. We'll flip it over and get it open. He's got a comic book here. That's pretty cool. Remember the original He-Mans? They, they all came with comic books, so this is awesome that these come with comic books. His weapon's taped in the back here. Let's get him out. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. This is awesome. I got to find at least another Ultimate Warrior so I can have him open as well. Although Sting would be cool too with the claws. Oh, you want, I guess I got to find all four. I got to open all four. So he doesn't have the, the flip action. Look at this. So the original He-Man figures had this flip action at the waist. I'm sure you guys remember that. And uh, these guys don't have it. They they just turn. They just turn at the waist. They don't they don't flip back. I want the flip action. I mean, and they're wrestlers. They should have some kind of action, don't you think? <laughs> but let's go through some of this articulation because this guy has a lot more articulate. That face is pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty good. They did a good job with these head sculpts. Wow. Those are nice. All right, this 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 helmet's pretty cool too. Look at the chainmail on the sides. It totally looks medieval. Something out of D and D too. It looks oh, so good. He's got shoulder joints that go up and down, and they move like 180 around. He can twist at the elbow, and he has an elbow joint, and the elbow joint is hidden underneath this little rubberized like piece of clothing. That's pretty awesome. I think this is cool. It's a good way to hide the joints and it look, makes them really articulated as well. He's got the hand rotation and a joint that moves it in and out. So he's got a lot of rotation and joint action in the arms and hands. So that's really cool. The waist, like we said, can twist and his legs, they can go out and up a little bit. 
Not as much leg movement there, but uh, that's okay. I mean, he's just going to be running and jumping anyway. So he's got, a, he's got a knee bend that's also hidden by this piece of clothing, the rubberized clothing. He's got an ankle twist there at the calf muscle, and he's got typical feet and ankle joints um, that you find almost on every Black Series and Marvel Legends figure. The foot is very reminiscent of Black Series and Marvel Legends, and now the Power Rangers. So uh, all the Hasbro figures... It's almost like they copied that joint to make the feet. But if you remember, that's way more articulation than the original He-Man. The original He-Mans could only move their arms up and down at a 360. Their legs could only go around. There was no twisting in the arms, legs, no bending at the elbows, no twisting at the hands, no bending at the knee joints. The head didn't even go up and down. It just spun around. So these were basically five POA, where now we've got massive POA. And typical He-Man fashion, all of the suit armor and stuff can come off. His helmet can come off. This can come off. So you just kind of pop these apart and you can take everything off. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like that kind of stuff with, with action figures. It just gives you more versatility with these guys if you want to depower them or whatever. Okay, I'm going to have to do this off camera because it won't... I got it back on. There you go. See? I got it back on. All right. <laughs> Get the helmet on here because he looks cool with the helmet on. Now we're going to take a look at the hammer. The sledgehammer of something, right? Supremacy? I don't know. <laughs> what was it? What did I just say? The sledgehammer of supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Pretty good details in it. You know, it looks small. Like, his hand grip is real sh small. So this is really big. Is it going to pop in there? It does. And he holds onto it pretty well. Look at that. Nice. So his hand expands to pop in there. All right, we're going to get the, car the comic book out. It's comic book time. All right. This is cool. I really like that they have the comics in here. Triple H, Evil Skull, King of Kings. His height, weight, superstar powers, a cerebral assassin and game master who uses fear to lead. Foreign object, Skull King Crown, and Sledgehammer Supremacy. The great battle has begun. A darkness threatens to consume WW Eternia as the faction of evil superstars rises from parts unknown to control the balance of power but the heroic superstars accept the challenge and defend the planet and determine who are the masters of the WWE universe. Triple H found the Skull King, Skull King crown, but Sting guards it. If you want the Skull King crown, you'll have to go through me. If you insist, Sting, you will not get in the way of my destiny. Arg! Now nobody can stop me. Time to play the game! Yeah, that's my voice of Triple H. Hope, hope you like that one. <laughs> Shows all the figures you can collect on the back. That's an awesome comic. I love it. I wish it was multiple pages. But looking at this figure makes me want to check out John Cena again. Yeah, it looks like John Cena. I think it's pretty cool. I really hope I can find another one of these on clearance or something. Because I think it'd be neat to uh, get this battle ring open and just take a look at it. But I, I just can't right now. I can't I can't open it right now. I just can't. Sorry guys. I just have this gut feeling about it that I I want to keep it pristine as much as it can be. I know the box isn't a hundred percent, but uh, something just tells me don't open it. Don't open it, John. Just leave it. Plus, where am I gonna put it on display? To be honest, right now I don't have a spot to put the ring and the figures around it. So I know I just expanded and but I'm still not done with it. Uh, I don't know. We're taking a look at Triple H as Skull King uh, doing roundabouts and taking detailed looks at him here for you as I ramble on about what I'm going to do. But I still have like two display cases to work on. And maybe once I get those set up, I'll have room to put. Because I don't think that everything I have is going to take up those two cases. Everything I have left. Hmm. 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 How can you expand the toy room and then not have any room? 
Yeah, that's the problem with uh, us collectors. We always could use more space. <laughs> always! Well, here he is next to Skeletor himself. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a terrible Skeletor. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but you can see the size. You can see the way he's put together. I mean, they very much... These wrestling figures will very much fit in with your... Your uh, He-Man collection. And uh, no one will bat an eye. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I know this was a little bit longer than our normal videos. But I want to just show a whole bunch of stuff all at once. And if I do get duplicates and I do get things, then I will start doing individual videos for each of these figures and showing them in a little bit more detail. Um, but for now, this is what I got and this is what you get. <laughs> but yeah, I really appreciate you guys following along. Thanks a lot for subscribing. And if you haven't already, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will see more awesome stuff as things come down the pipe. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.